Hey guys, this is Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're going to be going and finding a brand new winter crappie fishing spot, and we're going to be showing you guys how we're finding them. It's coming up right now in this video. Morning everybody. Okay, so we are out here at Sky Took Lake in Oklahoma. I uh, just put in at the boat ramp. And what I'm gonna do is go around here and just try to locate some crappie as if I was here uh, fishing for the first time, which I pretty much am because I haven't fished this lake in like eight years, so um, what I'm gonna do is go out here and just and just look for some stuff, watch the contour on the lines. I'm gonna look at my map, uh, look at my GPS, uh, try to find some drop-offs, uh, some points, things like that. Try to locate some crappie and show you guys what that looks like. I looked on here, just kind of checked to see if there was a point down here, but what I do see is some holes right here. So here's like 64 foot, and I see some really tight lines. So this is like a cliff or a drop off right here. And there's also a really deep part, and I like that. Because they can easily uh, go down or up the water column as needed to regulate their body temperature. So the first place I'm gonna check is right around this corner. So all I'm gonna do is just uh, go through this screen. I'm just looking for suspended crappie. There's the drop off right there. Uh, yep, yeah, and fish are starting to show up. This is right in front of that hole. That hole is right here, right down there. And yeah, there's fish hanging out. I mean, there's, so yeah, let's check. So now what I'm gonna do is come up here to the front and check it out with live scope and see if we can uh, see anything. <laughs> Good eating size crappie right there. There we go. Okay guys, so I want to take a break real quick and talk about before live scope. Okay, see that gray plastic piece right there? Okay, before live scope, that's what I would mark my depth with. Whenever I would catch a fish, I would take my line and I would wrap it up in there and that way I wouldn't have to uh, re-measure my line. You know, I could just let it out and it would stop 
and uh, you know I knew that I was at the right depth. Now with live scope, all I do is just watch my lure go down. I watch when clients are in the boat, I just look at their lure as well and I can see how deep they are. So I no longer have to use this. But if I didn't have live scope, that's one things I that's one of the things I would still be using. And if you don't have it, you should be using this because it really helps measure your line. And I'd really like to know some other tricks, you know, that maybe you guys use to uh, measure your line, you know, maybe use a permanent marker or something. Uh, you know, I'd like to hear about it down in the comments, uh, you know, uh, somebody else, you know, it may help them. So go ahead and leave that down there, you know. All right, guys, so that's how we did it before live scope. Okay, well, you guys saw that pile. We just found it. They're right along the edge of this turn and uh, right back in this eddy where I thought they would be. I mean, these fish are tough. They're sitting there, they're looking at my bait. They're not biting it very hard. Um, you know, you guys let me know, you know, cause these fish are just being real inactive and they're not biting very hard. Um, I mean, what do you guys do whenever they're not biting very hard in the winter time like this? You know, they're all lethargic. Uh, 